Hi, I'm Han Shen from Tongji University. I'm going to present the EPRO PMP, Generalized End-to-End -end Probabilistic Perspective Endpoint for Monocular Object Pose Estimation. In this work, we investigate a combination of deep learning and geometry vision problems, specifically the PMP-based pose estimation network. The common inference pipeline is to predict a correspondence set consisting of 3D coordinates, 2D coordinates, and weights, from which object poles can be solved by minimizing the squared weighted reprojection error, denoted by f. The problem is, in most prior work, the network is trained by supervising the intermediate variables by a surrogate loss, which is not optimal for best pose accuracy. Some have also investigated end-to-end -end pose loss that backpropagates through the PMP solver. But the training is very unstable due to the Acme optimization layer, since it's generally non-differentiable. To achieve stable end-to-end -end training, our workaround is to interpret the pose as a probability distribution. So we're actually predicting the probability density, which is always differentiable. We define a likelihood function based on the cumulative reprojection error, and with uninformative prior, normalizing the likelihood yields the posterior probability density. This formulation can also be regarded as a continuous counterpart of the categorical softmax function. This is what we call the EPRO PMP layer. During training, given a ground truth pose, we can define a target pose distribution and minimize decay or divergence between the target and prediction. Again, this is analogous to the categorical cross entropy loss, but on a continuous domain. Using a direct delta distribution as target, we can have this simplified loss function. Taking the gradients, and we can see that it tries to minimize the reprojection error at the target pose while maximizing the reprojection error over the predicted pose. Now, because we are using weighted correspondences, these two terms drive the weights to be both uncertainty aware and discriminative. Being uncertainty aware indicates the inner region with higher confidence shall be weighted more. And being discriminative means the point sensitive to the variation of pose shall be weighted more. This balance helps the model to focus on the important regions in the image, somehow resembling the attention mechanism. Now the final problem is, the pose distribution is intractable and has to be approximated numerically. We adopt the adaptive multiple important sampling algorithm to join weighted samples from the distribution, so that the second term of decay loss is approximated by the importance weights. To test the proposed EPRO PMP layer, we've tried two network architectures, one for 60 OF pose estimation based entirely on CDPN without translation hand. This is a dense correspondence network, which uses pixel-wise 2D coordinates and only predicts the dense 3D coordinates and weights. Another is for 3D object detection which extends f 0 f 3 d by adding a normal deformal correspondence set. In this network, the entire 3D, 2D coordinates and weights are predicted by the network to explore the flexibility of the proposed method. The experiments show that ePROPMP significantly improves the CDPM baseline, and with some training tricks, it is able to compete against the state of the art. We also achieve the best NDS score on the 3D object detection task outperforming the FCON 3D baseline and all other methods of the time. All of these achieved by only the standard PMP pipeline. No depth prediction, no pose refiner. This makes our method very efficient compared to some hybrid methods. Here are some of the visualizations. An important advantage of EPRO PMP is that it naturally handles ambiguous orientation by predicting the multimodal distribution which occurs under symmetricity or uncertain observations. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to try a problem, you can visit our GitHub repo.